Ethereum has crumbled down to some ridiculously low price levels during this crypto crash. I mean, we're talking 1100 US dollars, which is, by the way, under 1000 British pounds. 136 billion dollar market cap. Are we yet to see the low of lows or is this the bottom? Let's take a little look at what's occurred here. Over the year, we've lost this key, key level of support. We respected this $2,400 level quite a lot, and we have unfortunately lost that quite significantly, trading all the way down at levels that we saw back in 2018. We even lost the all-time high of Ethereum in 2018, so it's not looking good for the ETH holders. However, the best way to succeed with crypto is actually scooping up these coins during their fair value or under valuation phases in bear market so what's occurring ethereum merge going to end up being a triple halvening of the price <laughs> i mean at this rate you probably could agree eth 2.0 more like eth 20 dollars i found that one quite funny i thought i had to share it with you but we shouldn't be uh making jokes like this because some people are losing a lot of money but this is just crypto guys volatility is always going to be here we can see from the previous bull market swing high to the swing low, we came up to the 3.618 Fibonacci, putting through the all-time high for around $4,800. Now we're all the way down at these price levels. It's an insane area to be. I mean, just seeing this at the moment is really, really making me want to just open my wallet up and buy. If we look at the RSI, for example, we have not been this low for four entire years on the weekly time frame. So even the RSI is suggesting that now could effectively be a really good time to grab some Ethereum. But is it over? Are we going to get a bounce to the upside? Is it going to be a short lived bounce or are we yet to see further capitulation to the downside? Well, I think the next key area of uh, support over here is probably going to be around this swing low right here. So if we do move down further, uh, we'll probably be looking about the $900 level. I do think coming down to $370 is never going to happen ever again. So that's probably you know, extremely unlikely at this particular time. But we could still mark it in as a key area of potential accumulation if ever did happen. What I think is more realistic is that we do come down to around about these levels here. Should we see a bit more continuation to the downside? This would be a great buy zone for me between 780 and also $939 for Ethereum. So yeah, not looking too good. Um, Ethereum right now. Daily time frame. let's take a little look. You can see oversold on the RSI. I've got some big, big um, wicks here. So this one here demonstrated a lot of buying pressure. This one here has also demonstrated a lot of buying pressure today. So the whales are probably swooping in, you know, smart money, grabbing more crypto at these low cost prices. You can see we come down to 11, wow, $1,011 um, right there. On some exchanges, we even lost $1,000 level. So it leaves us to ask ourselves what the next price could effectively be for Ethereum. If we see continuation to the downside, things won't look too good. But, um, you know, the contrary is that we could still see a pump to the upside over here. We're trading in a bit of a falling wedge pattern as well. So we would speculate on this four hour time frame that Ethereum is going to get a bit of a bounce to the upside. I'll be looking for at least a bounce to about $1,400 on the macro scale, though it's probably very unlikely at this point. We're probably going to get rejected at the resistance here um, at the top of our channel or wedge of 11.50 and then maybe work our way down lower in this particular channel we need to trade sideways for a long time i think that's always important with these particular cryptos and the market is red many macroeconomical factors are suppressing uh you know a bull market right now and we do need a long crypto winter so this is it we lost that support there 1700 we lost this support here at 1400 making our way back down to a next potential support level at about thousand dollars so it could happen really good if we look back in time you see we traded at these prices quite a bit in january 2021 um and that's the levels we're trading at these 2021 january prices we could still lose the significant support level at 900 dollars and actually come down lower maybe just for a moment it could be a huge capitulation wick but it can still happen do not rule it off but in my opinion buying at these levels is what generates the most yield as you see the bear market of 2019 huge price increase afterwards um, and of course we corrected all the way down from this top to bottom let's have a look at the size of the correction we can see the corrective wave was around about 94% uh, corrective wave so far has been 
81%. So you could still speculate this movement to the downside. The 90% region will take us to about $400 here for Ethereum. What can we also look at? Well, if we look at the market cycle top to the current bottom, we can actually speculate what the next um, all time high may be. We'll be looking at probably the 1.618 to the 3.618 level. So we're talking about seven to $15,000 um, Ethereum for the future. Very, very pragmatic target using the Fibonacci extension tool to gauge those areas of resistance. So am I bullish right now? Well, it's impossible to be in the short term, but for long term, absolutely. If we look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart, we can see we're under the basically a fire sale category. We're in that blue zone, just like we were during the COVID-19 2020 crash, and also following the famous bear market of 2017. Terra Luna has also probably been a huge catalyst to this um, momentum, you know, the bearish price action. So coming down back into the blue zone, it's a real, real big buying opportunity. And you see, we had that all the way through here as well. So we could certainly trade sideways at these $20,000 levels for a very long period of time before seeing a pump to the upside if you're new to the channel guys make sure you do subscribe i will be sticking around through the bear markets make sure you also hop into the discord channel We've got about 300 people in there at the moment as you can see nice little community and get yourself into the telegrams as well the crypto news and insights and the learn to trade prepare yourself for the next bull market stay tuned stay crypto safe bye for now